Here, Theresa May came under more pressure over the sexual harassment crisis at Westminster today. First, the MP, who's effectively her deputy, Damien Green, strongly denied making inappropriate advances towards a woman. Then, as Mrs May invited her fellow leaders to discuss the crisis, she was confronted in the Commons about other allegations from the past. In the Commons, he looked on as the Prime Minister was challenged about party whips sitting on compromising information about MPs. Three years ago, I brought evidence to her in this House that whips had used information about sexual abuse to demand loyalty from MPs. I brought that information to her in this House and I warned her at the time that unless real action was taken, we risked repeating those injustices again today. Very good afternoon. This is Sky News. At five o'clock this Wednesday afternoon, Theresa May has been accused of failing to act on allegations of sexual abuse at Westminster. The Prime Minister's question, she said she'd invited all party leaders to agree a way forward to deal with the claims. But the Labour MP Lisa Nandy said she'd asked Mrs May to investigate claims of harassment three times in 2014 when she was Home Secretary and had no concrete response. The Prime Minister has written to party leaders, inviting them to meet next week to agree on the best way, way to deal with allegations of sexual abuse and harassment at Westminster. Theresa May said she wanted a transparent system following a series of allegations against MPs. Our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, reports. There are nerves across Westminster of what might come next, but maybe perhaps too, hopes that things might change. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News, Westminster.